In this question, we want to find n moments using column analogy method. We are given that the beam has ends A and B fixed and we have imposed a UDL of W kN per meter and E and I for the beam are constant and also note that because both the ends of this beam are fixed in this case, the end moments will be equal to fixed end moments. So first step in solving this problem is to draw a corresponding simply supported beam. So I do that by replacing the fixed supports at A and B by pin supports. Now because it is a symmetric beam with symmetric loading, the support reactions will be equal and half of the total load that will be WL by 2, WL by 2. Now to find bending moment diagram for this beam, let's cut a section at a distance x from support A and let's call this xx and let's draw FBD of segment left to xx. So that will be the segment of length x. We have the support reaction WL by 2 and at the section xx we will have shear force, positive shear force in downward direction and positive bending moment in anti-clockwise direction. This is V and this is M. Let's write moment equilibrium equation about x. So I get sigma M about x equals to 0 and I'll take clockwise moment as positive. So this gives me first I'll write moment because of WL by 2 that will be clockwise. So plus WL by 2 into lever arm will be distance x into x. Next the moment because of UDL that is W kilonewton per meter over length x and because of this moment will be in anti-clockwise sense. So minus the force Wx point of application of this force will be midpoint of this UDL. So lever arm will be into x by 2 and the moment m will be anti-clockwise. So minus m equals to 0. So this gives me m equals to Wlx by 2 minus Wx square by 2. So bending moment diagram will be parabolic with maximum at the midpoint and the equation of bending moment diagram will be mx equals to wlx by 2 minus wx square by 2. The next step will be to draw analogous column for this beam. The analogous column will be a short column with width l and breadth 1 upon ei. And this is our cross section or we can say top view and the side view will be side view. This is width L and on this column I will apply distributed load with magnitude mx upon ei that will be a parabolic loading with equation given by this equation and wx will be mx upon ei and that will be equals to wlx by 2 ei minus wx square by 2 ei and this will be edge a edge b point a point b now the pressure at the base of the column can be written as p equals to f by a plus minus m dash upon i dash into x here f is the resultant force because of distributed load on the column a is cross sectional area of the column m dash is moment because of distributed load about the centroidal axis of the column i dash is second moment of area of the column cross section about centroidal axis and x is distance of any point on the column cross section from the centroidal axis so let's find these quantities f will be area under this curve and we'll have to integrate the equation to find that area 
so f will be integral from 0 to l w x dx that will be equals to integral from 0 to l w l x by 2 e i minus w x square by 2 e i dx i can take w by 2 e i common from this integral 0 to l l x minus x square dx that will be equals to w by 2 e i l x squared by 2 minus x cube by 3 and the limits will be from 0 to l this will give me w by 2 e i l cube by 2 minus l cube by 3 and this will give me w l cube divided by 12 e i next the area of cross section will be a equals to l into 1 upon e i that is equals to l by e i next i will find i dash i dash will be second moment of area about the centroidal axis because this is a rectangular column the centroidal axis will pass through middle of the column and i dash will be width into depth q by 12 width will be dimension parallel to the centroidal axis and depth will be dimension perpendicular to the centroidal axis so that will be 1 upon ei into l cube by 12 that is equals to l cube divided by 12 ei and because the distributed load is symmetrical about centroidal axis the moment because of this distributed load about centroidal axis will be 0 that is m dash will be 0 we can use this result directly or if we want we can do the derivation also it is slightly lengthy derivation but let's do that so m dash will be moment about centroidal axis let's take a strip at a distance x from the point a of width dx the moment because of this small force about centroidal axis will have lever arm this and that will be l by 2 minus x so m dash will be integral the force that will be w x dx and the lever arm will be l by 2 minus x dx and we'll have to integrate it from 0 to l so m dash will be integral 0 to l i'll substitute value of w x that is w l x by 2 e i minus w x square by 2 e i into l by 2 minus x dx i can take w l by 2 common integral 0 to l l x minus x squared here i can take 2 lcm so i get l minus 2 x divided by 2 dx equals to w l i can take this 2 out by 4 integral 0 to l and i can multiply these two factors so i get l squared x minus 2 l x squared minus l x squared plus 2 x cube dx equals to w l by 4 now i'll integrate l squared x squared by 2 minus here this 2 lx squared minus lx squared that will be 3 lx squared and the integral for that will be minus 3 lx cube by 3 plus 2 x to the power 4 by 4 from 0 to l that will be equals to w l by 4 l to the power 4 by 2 minus here I can cancel this 3 with this 3, this 2, this 4 to give 2, L to the power 4 plus L to the power 4 by 2 and that is equals to 0. So M dash is 0 and X A will be this distance and that is equals to L by 2 and X B will be this distance and that is also equals to 
L by 2. So here, because M dash is 0, both PA and PB will be equal and both will be equals to F divided by A. So that will be equals to force is WL cube divided by 12 EI divided by area which is equals to L by EI that is equals to here I can cancel this EI with this EI this one L with L cube here to give L squared so this will give me W L squared divided by 12 so the end moments MAB and MBA will be equal and they will be equals to WL squared by 12 and we can show them like this this one is m a b and this one is m b a